If you're ready, I'm ready, she's ready, let's put your hands together. Let's bring her out, international star, France Jolie! Zazradio.com DJ Lenny Sandwas are here at the Riverview, hastening on the Hudson, New York, for Teresa Correnti, co-hosted by Cindy Del Bendy's Cancer Smancer 2018 event, here with the legendary Fran Jolie. Oh, thank you. International recording artist. Thank you very much for the interview, number one. Oh, well, thank you and for having me. And your performance was absolutely amazing, as thank always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I had a great time. Uh, you, I'll tell you, amazing <laughs> job. We actually... Uh, we interviewed probably about four people, and of course we were waiting for you. This was <laughs> this is the encore of the finale. So we have a few questions for you, if you don't mind answering. No, that's fine. And I'm ecstatic about it because I actually asked your husband, and he says, you know what? Just go with the questions because you you know what? We want to catch her, and I think this is going to be pretty awesome. Okay. okay. Are we ready? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. When you're not being the legendary Fangio Lee, mm -hmm. what do you like doing? I love playing golf. I'm a golfer. Really? Yes. I, I just enjoy the sport and it relaxes me. And if I want to free my mind, I play four hours of golf and that does the trick. Is it, Do you do it in... In, uh, in, in Montreal in, in the Montreal. summer. Okay. And hopefully I get a lot of gigs in warm <laughs> in <the> weather. <laughs> and so I can play as well. Happy. But I, I, I do, uh, my manager lives in Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. And I try to go to Palm Springs. He's one of my best friends. Oh, that's so important. Not one of my, my best friends. That's awesome. And, and so I, I play golf there too. So that's, that's, that's what I love. And secondly, I love writing. Really? Yeah, I write songs. Uh, I, I I do my own music in my studio at home, and that's what that's what I do. It's it's a hobby, but it's it's my job, but it's my hobby at I mean, the same time because I love it. it. I'm passionate about it. I was about to say that. You know, yeah. I'm in the music business for 26 years, mm -hmm. and to me, it's all about the love and passion for what yes, you do. Yes, absolutely. And so you know what? I understand it. And going back to the golfing from <laughs> Montreal to Palm Springs, I mean, <laughs> do you do this like internationally? Oh Can yeah, do, whenever every courses. Oh uh, well, not every, every courses? courses, but every time that I have a gig somewhere and it's warm weather, mm. I bring my golf course, wow. my, my golf Close. clubs, and uh, and and visit some golf courses. So wait a second, that, what are we talking about clubs wise? Like, are these pink? Nice fashionable clubs, like fragile, <laughs> fragile, yeah. sparkly little clubs. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna say the name because I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> but uh, no, I just have, uh, I have a set that I've had for for the past ten years, and I, I just love them. So number two. Yes. What is something that you would like everyone to know that they most likely don't know about you? I'm um, okay. Ooh, that they don't know about me. I tend to very uh, to be quite emotional. Uh, I try to manage it the best I can. But when I'm tired uh, and overworked, I will cry mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. I will cry, get emotional. Not cry like long periods of time, sure. but I get teary-eyed very mm -hmm. easily. Uh, let's say that I'm writing a song and I've been writing on this song for a long time. And if I've, I've put some melody together and chords together uh, and it touches me, I'll start crying, you know? So I'm very emotional. So but people know all this about me anyway. But you know what? I, when, you, <laughs> when you say that, that just goes back to being a music, you know, musical artist. You yeah. Know, having the emotion. Mm -hmm. having I'm an artist. Senses. That's You're for sure. Artist. There's no two way about that's it. That's it. So yeah. that's that's really what it boils down yeah. to. And to I love popcorn too. <laughs> 
I could eat popcorn nonstop. Really? But without the butter. I was just, about to say caramel or no, uh, no, 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 no. Just a little like... salt, and I'm good. Really? I, I don't need the fat. I don't need. I just love popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. I can imagine what your house is like. You have it's, a nice, you have it's nice full of theater. popcorn on the floor. I was about to say, yeah, nice theater, <laughs> you know? Bring in the popcorn. <laughs> when I watch a movie, I have to yeah. have popcorn. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm good. That's it. Popcorn I'm good. Salt. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah. What? That's pretty good. I'm, I'm sure. Good. Are you a steak like a, a steak and lobster girl also? No, 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 no. no. I'm a chicken girl. Oh, you, oh I love chicken uh, as well. I, I That's love all I chicken. do is eat chicken. Sure. I love chicken because it's, it's, you know, it's not as, as mm. damaging, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I love vegetables and fruits. I'm I'm just a veg a veggie kind of girl. I love it. And I mean, speaking of which, hundred pounds you look. Yeah, well, amazing. not quite a hundred pounds, and I still have some ways to go, but uh, I'm up to like ninety pounds now. So I mean, listen, yeah, that's amazing. I seen you yeah. last year. Mm -hmm. You looked amazing as always. Oh, thank you. you. Sang, you sang amazing, of course, mm. but just it's like a big transformation. Well, and listen, God bless it's, you. it's a new ticket on life. It's, it's awesome. It's I had to do something. And I decided to just uh, take my health into my own hands and and go for it because I wanted to be have a quality of life and mm. now I do because I I feel more energetic. Uh, you can see I, it. Yeah, you can and, see it. and I love singing and I want to do it as long as I possibly can. So um, I needed to do that for myself. Pretty awesome. And it's showing myself a little love towards me. So, yes, which definitely. is good. You have to always treat yourself. Yeah. You know, you have to take care of your body. If it does, you know what. Yeah. Of course, it takes care of you. Okay, so we're going to go with number three. Number three, guys. Which number is a three, pretty three. awesome question. Three. three. <laughs> oh, I have this up. This is pretty good. Something that you always wanted to do, but never did. Number one on your bucket list. Hmm. What is on number one on Fangio Lee's bucket list? I'm sure everybody wants to know this one. I was a skater when I was young. Uh, there's two things. I was a ska I, I love skating and I wanted to be a um, uh, figure skating. Wow. Uh, skater, figure skater. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I had aptitude for it when I was young, but the singing, you know, took over. Mm -hmm. And secondly, I, uh, I, I did a lot of dancing in my days mm -hmm. and I wanted to be also a professional dancer. So it's all it, part of the music and, you know, it's all. It's, it's, it's all, all relative. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all, all in relation to. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So that's dancing good. and 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 figure skating. You that's, know what? You know what's funny? I mean, I'm 46. I'll be 46. And you're I'm a baby. And, and, and I know you're 40, so you know. Right, <laughs> right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you know what? I, one of my favorite times, I have to say, is in Yonkers, New York. Because you know, of course, uh, born and raised in Yonkers. And there was actually a roller skate ring called Wheels. Okay. And you know, it's it's just the, I'm getting the visual, the DJ in the middle, oh, yeah. and dancing all the way around. Yeah. You know, to the beat of music. Roller skating. You roller skating. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Dancing and roller skating around. So I love cool. roller skating. And, and with us, of course, was break dancing. Oh so yeah. So it was Run DMC. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was oh going yeah. Back to you're a you generation know, younger oh, than me, very, baby. <laughs> very much so. Yeah, you know, we're talking about breaking down linoleum floor, oh, yeah. cardboard, and break dancing, <laughs> fat shoelaces. Good oh, yeah. stuff. Oh, good stuff. But real yeah. good stuff. But you know, going back to the ice skating and you know and the, the golf, you know. Right. What a workout. Yeah. Both of them. Amazing Absolutely. workout. Absolutely. Absolutely amazing workout. So we're gonna go with the last question. That's number four from ZazRadio.com. We're so ecstatic to have the legendary Thank Fran you. Jolie. Thank you. Oh, really amazing. So, three things that you can't live without. Live without? Yeah, live without. I yeah. couldn't live without my fans. Oh, that's important. Yeah. Actually, yes. I couldn't live without them. They're my life. They're my almost everything. I know I could, you know, how would I say it? They kept me alive. I'm so appreciative because they've kept me alive for so many years. They still come to my shows. I have sold out shows and it's only because of them. I mean, of course, the, all the record companies and, and, and the radio stations and all the support. But after all these years, they're still coming to my shows. It's amazing. To and me. and it, they keep me going. Like I, I want to work on my voice and my appearance and this and that because I want to keep on doing shows, and and I know that they will come. You feed off their energy. And yeah, that's really what it is. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, it's funny because yeah. I was looking, I was like, she's here at the Riverview, beautiful Cato Golf Course, but she does Westbury. Mm -hmm. She does, you know, yeah. she's international. Right. This is what's amazing about you is that you could go anywhere. Well, I could go from a very small audience of of 
of 100 to um, to 10,000 people. That's, that's and, 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 But I, I love every aspect of, of, of these shows because some is very intimate and the other one is is bigger crowds and I just I just love what I do. You do. And, it's, I really and it certainly do. shows and your enthusiasm is absolutely contagious. Thank you so much for the interview. Oh, I, really I thank you. It. Hi, this is Frangeli and I'm listening to zazradio.com.